Hi guys, it's October 12, 2018. Internet across the globe could face downtime over the next 48 hours. I can. I can. Obama put the internet into the hands of I can. And, well, who really controls I can but the United Nations? Now, I don't. I don't follow people. I listen to people and I listen to many people who have different takes on what is happening in our world. I can't say definitively what is taking place in our world, but no one can. So if you're listening to anybody who has a definitive take on something, um, then no, they're not a disinformation agent or a shill. A lot of people have very strong opinions, and in their own mind, their opinion is a fact. Well, it's not. It's their opinion. What uh, John X Army is saying about the Internet across the globe to go down in the next 48 hours uh, he's not alone in what he is saying. I will link below. It's a live broadcast. I don't know if he's still going live. But he's talking about this ICANN. Uh, oh, yes, the Internet. Even the Internet needs to be managed and cleaned up. And that's what they're doing. Well, when you take a look at everything, you know, the, the October 3rd presidential alert, now we've got ICANN. John X Army thinks that this is yet another test to see, you know, how they can shut down the internet worldwide, shut it down globally. Um, he might be right. You know, you don't have to attack people based on their view. Just take it in and think about it and and it may very well be right. Um, we've never had the ICANN uh, well play with the internet across the globe. It could be that this is a test perhaps to open up a back door into new computers? I don't know. None of us know. But we need to really take seriously everything that's going on. And when we read from these mainstream media outlets that, oh, it's nothing. It's just ICANN doing some management of the Internet. Um, well, that needs to be really questions. So they're planning, they're stating that this is to help um, help all of us to have more internet protection. That needs to be questioned for sure. To help prevent cyber attacks aimed at DNS systems in the future. Well, when the United Nations is con in control of an awful lot, even in control of the United States, Trump, federal agencies of ours that are implementing Agenda 2030, uh, Trump appointing all of these secretaries in his cabinet that are gung-ho, Agenda 2030, private partnership, uh, secretaries, then you really, it, when you take in all of the information, it allows you to have a broader view of what is taking place. And there is so much going on that is very concerning like Trump. Again, 
you know, Americans standing in front of the White House protesting. This is a feature of the United States, Americans protesting in front of the White House, decades and decades, my entire life for sure. Trump wants to limit that. He actually wants to shut off 80% of the White House sidewalk and give those protesters five feet to protest. Um, and these new rules that the Department of Interior is proposing will limit free speech more, will limit demonstrations. People will then have to pay for their right to demonstrate and speak. That's these new rules coming out of Trump's Department of Interior are very concerning, but not surprising, considering his pick, Ryan Zink, to head the Department of Interior. He may soon be gone because Trump has um, appointed, or may be appointing, Zink to be the new United Nations ambassador which is not a surprise considering this guy Ryan Zink is oh he is a Agenda 2030 guy another Trump appointee to head a federal agency I have posted many videos showing you that virtually all of his appointments to head these federal agencies are United Nations Agenda 2030 secretaries working for the United Nations to imp implement the you know it's amazing to me that when you post videos on what Trump is actually doing if it conflicts with the Trump supporters belief that he is making America great again with the comments you get so attacked and you know the Trump supporters and flat earthers have really exploded the divide and conquer it, it truly is amazing you know during the Obama years the Trump supporters were looking at everything that Obama was doing objectively they saw what he was doing, which was the opposite of what he was saying. Trump is doing the exact same thing, but now the Trump supporters are acting like the Obama supporters, refusing to acknowledge all of what Trump is doing if it upsets them. That is not, that is not what I expected for sure, but I guess it's what people who really want to just remain comfortable and not do anything different and just go on doing the same old, same old. Well, I guess those are the people with the brains that can allow delusion, ride on false hope, and then attack anybody who presents information that conflicts with their beliefs. And I, for one, am really tired of it. I have to say, guys, the, the three main groups who are the most, uh, that are causing the most divide and conquer, the most division, Christians, Trump supporters, flat earthers. And that really has created in this community there is no possibility of ever organizing standing together to fight anything and it really is sad to see 
so many who are within the quote unquote awake crowd act no differently than the sleeping sheeple. Sorry if that offends, but I'm not the one who is negative. I'm not the one who is uh, destroying hope. Those are some of the comments that I get. And wow, do I have an awful lot of people who have unsubbed because they don't like hearing that Trump may not be making America great again. And as everybody is caught up in this pew and on supporting Trump, believing that he is fighting the deep state, they can't even you know, uh, um, consider that they might be being played, that all of what Trump is talking about, I get comments from people saying, you know, Trump, he's the one who came out and called out mainstream media as fake news, Carol. Could you possibly consider that all of it is a staged play? that at the time that we were living with all with all of the data being collected on all of us that they collected an awful lot of data on Americans who were on the internet posting their opinion of mainstream media posting their objection to people just coming across the border illegally posting how upset they were with common core vaccines they collect all of that data and then they get a presidential candidate to come out and speak on those issues giving Americans what they want to hear just like Obama did If you can't consider that, you have a closed mind and you are choosing willful ignorance. And, you know, considering everything that Trump has been doing, I posted a video yesterday, new NAFTA is really just a, a handover to the globalists. I've posted so many videos showing you his appointments to become secretary of our federal agencies are all implementing Agenda 2030. And I've also shown you how corrupt are these people that are hitting our federal agencies. But none of that matters. This We're living now a time where all of the Trump supporters were looking at what Obama was doing, critically analyzing it, and voicing their objection to Obama taking steps to destroy our country. And all of those people have just ceased using their critical thinking skills now, refusing to take a look, refusing to even open their mind to consider that Trump may be just like the last guy. Do you understand that while you're obsessed with this QAnon business, and going with all of the Make America Great Again and look, Carol, can't you see what he is doing? And I just say to you, please keep an open mind that, yeah, you're getting these crumbs as presidents have always given their base their crumbs. But take a look at the full picture. Take a look at everything that he is doing, please, so that you can understand 
that he too, no, he's not pulling us out of the United Nations. He is giving the United Nations what they want. Do you understand that you have put yourself in a position where you are complicit with the destruction that is taking place? Everything needs to be examined objectively. So when you just shut off to all of the information that I am putting out and a few others are putting out, instead you just attack and claim that we're negative, that we can't see, that we're too cynical, and we're destroying hope. We like to kill hope. You're killing hope of ever uniting and fighting this evil that is really, it's just ramping up every single day. I'll link below to the articles, but you know what? You read these articles in the Washington Examiner. Well, that would be considered a, a news publication on the right. The right news publications lie to you, just like the liberal left publications, the news outlets lie to you. So, Trump's list, this egotistical maniac in the White House, he lists 289 accomplishments in just 20 months. Relentless promise keeping. Yay! Really? So, how our minds work is we love to fiddle with facts that support our beliefs. Oh, it's called confirmation bias. So when you see the right news outlets putting out information like, wow, 173 major wins, like adding more than 4 million jobs and another 116 smaller victories that he has uh, increased by 83% in one year, the arrests of MS-13 gang members. You need to look into the details. You can't just read that sentence and go, rah, rah, Trump is making America great again. You have to now look into every accomplishment and examine the details because it is in the details that's where the devil lies it, the details tell you the truth so when you hear that Trump has been going after these human traffickers then you get into the details and you find out that the numbers that they are putting out the arrests of human traffickers uh, child sex abusers, you have to look at literally the details of every arrest because they inflate the numbers when a lot of those numbers in the research that I've done were just regular prostitutes and those using prostitutes, men using prostitutes. So they inflate the numbers because they're playing to their base. So you have to look at the 83% increase in arrest of MS-13 gang members. But when you read Trump's successes in reducing the cost of taxes and regulations, what are the regulations? You need to look at what the regulations are. You can't just go, Carol, he's, he's taken a lot of those regulations that in your mind were you know, strapping Americans or putting a noose around Americans neck so you feel like oh because he has gotten rid of a lot of regulations Americans no longer have that noose around their neck the regulations that he has been uh, destroying are the regulations that keep us safe they're reducing the cost of taxes there's an awful lot of Americans who have not felt the uh, tax relief that you will hear on programs like uh, 
Sean Hannity's. His tax uh, plan helped corporations more than anybody. Avoiding wars of choice. This publication here is saying that he's keeping his promise, avoiding wars of choice. Do I have to say anything about that to convince you that that's a lie? Rebuilding our military? Oh, he has certainly allowed the military industrial complex to profit incredibly. So, unfortunately, what I'm seeing in a lot of Trump supporters, the comments that they leave me, you're believing your mainstream media on the right, just like the left believe the mainstream media on the left. You've been lied to your entire life, and suddenly you're believing someone who's a liar. There's something wrong with that thinking, and you do need to reevaluate it. Because what that thinking does, it just allows you to live comfortably and gives you permission to never do anything to change because Trump is making America great again. Well, it makes you complicit with all of the destruction. You can get mad at me all you want. But, now he hasn't thrown up red flags. He's not a sly fox. He's putting in your face who he is. He puts in your face all the time who he is. You know, he talks. I, I, I mean, it's amazing how people can actually put faith in a guy, believe a guy, who in one week he's calling um, Kim Jong-un a brutal, cruel dictator, the worst oppressor in the world, then the next week, he's a young man full of promise and talent. Talent um, took over the country at 26 years of age. Who could do that? He's praising Kim Jong-un a week after he is just calling him a brutal, cruel dictator. How do you believe this? Now, Clinton should be in jail. Horrible human being. He gets elected. First interview. Ah, she's done a lot for the country. And the Clintons are good people. How do you put stock in a man like this? I do not understand it. But it sure is not helping this community one bit. All links are below.